Hey guys. Happy December. Merry Christmas to everyone. So I wanted to share, as you can see I entitled it, the 12 days of Christmas, my very free, favorite dairy-free substitutes. So I get asked all the time, what is the one thing that you have done that's made the greatest impact in your all's health? And hands down, hey Suzanne, um, hands down, we started swallowing plant powders about seven years ago and that radically has changed our health. But I think the second thing was when we eliminated dairy from our diet. And y'all, I resisted. When people told me I had a fussy baby, day one, a friend said, have you tried eliminating dairy? And I said, no, I'm not eliminating dairy. That's all I eat. So throughout my whole entire pregnancy, y'all, I was living on dairy. String cheese, TCBY, I loved dairy. So I was very resistant. Even though I had a fussy baby, I was not gonna change. And it wasn't until it looked like she was having seizures, she had blood in her stool and she broke out in a red rash every single time I nursed her that the doctor said, you need to eliminate dairy and she stopped taking the bottle that weekend when she was hospitalized, so there was no other choice. Of course, I was gonna eliminate dairy. So that is when we started on this journey dairy-free, and our my health has completely changed. People will say, you know, did you notice symptoms? Were you lactose intolerant? And honestly, looking back, I was. I was bloated all the time. Um, I was gassy, you know, my face, I had, you know, I would break out, you know, periodically. So, um, you know, looking back, yes, I probably was sensitive to dairy. And I think that's why I am so passionate about what I do. Y'all, people just live in chronic pain and they don't know that there's a better way. So they think it's just normal and it's not. Um, so some signs that you maybe have a dairy sensitivity, you know, kids sick all the time, you know, chronic congestion, sinus infections, anab needing antibiotics over and over, gassy, bloated, constipated, a lot of kiddos that are constipated, you know, they eliminate dairy and they say huge benefits. I mean, there's seasonal allergies. I mean, there's so many other things that, um, you know, oftentimes when people eliminate dairy, they see huge improvements. So. That's a story for another day. But so dairy free. So we went dairy free about six years ago and it was our whole family. My husband wasn't initially on board, but today he does not eat dairy. Um, he will even say no cheese on a salad at a restaurant. So he has seen improvements. Um, just we feel better. We feel a ton better. So these are my 12 um, very favorite dairy-free substitutes that are just staples in our home. Um, you know, we like to eat, you know, less processed foods, more whole foods, but sometimes you just need some staples. I'm not going to make dressings from scratch. Um, you know, yes, we do make a very simple ice cream, but I do have an, a great dairy-free substitute here. So these are some of our very favorite staples. Um, okay, so our dressings that we use, that we love, it's the Tessemes, it's the brand. Um, super clean, it does have eggs. So for those that are egg-free, it does have eggs, but it's a very clean brand. And hands down, this is my husband's, absolute favorite dressing, habanero ranch. It's so yummy. So dairy-free dressing, Tessame. It's a great clean brand. So another thing that we love is nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast is rich in B vitamins and it has a cheesy flavor. Hey guys! Um, and we use it for uh, so many different things. Uh, sprinkle it on popcorn. We put it, um, sprinkle it on a salad. Uh, oh my gosh, we just, we use it for a ton of different things. And it gives it a cheesy flavor. I'll put it on kale chips. I just put it on some chickpeas. We just, we use it in everything. Um, the lasagna I make instead of cheese, I put the nutritional yeast. It really is super, super yummy. So it gives something a cheesy flavor. So it's a great, I wouldn't say it's a great cheese substitute because you wouldn't, it wouldn't, you wouldn't use a recipe and then use this equal portions, but it's a great cheesy flavor. Okay, 
So dairy-free chocolate chips. These are, the Enjoy Life brand are amazing. It's three ingredients, dairy-free, gluten-free. They taste like chocolate chips. They are super yummy. Um, okay, so hummus. We love this dairy-free chocolate hummus. At first, people were scared to try it. Like, ooh, chocolate hummus. Y'all, it's the bomb. It is so good. So it is tastes like chocolate. And it's very clean. So when I'm shopping and doing getting processed foods, packaged foods, I like to, I look at the label. Um, I don't even look at the nutrition facts these days, um, except for the sugar. So I like to buy, if it's processed foods, I like to buy... Um, things with less than five grams of sugar. And y'all, sometimes that's just hard. I mean, depending on what you're buying. But I like to shoot for less than five grams of sugar per serving and few ingredients. And I wanna make sure that the first ingredient is what it should be. So it should be chickpeas for hummus. So we love this dairy-free hummus and we actually use it for uh, icing. And I'll show you what we put it on, another, um, one of my favorites. And you can, for the holidays, you could put this in a bowl and put, you know, pretzels and strawberries on the side and it would be a great healthy appetizer. And y'all, sometimes at night, if I want dessert or something sweet, I'll just take a spoonful of this and eat it off the spoon. So it's super, super yummy. And they have, I had to show this one, they have um, this pumpkin pie hummus. Y'all, it takes like the filling of pumpkin pie. This would be a great appetizer appetizer, holiday appetizer with some ginger snaps. And this was hard to find. So both of these, sorry, I should be saying where I got it. Um, both of these, yes, where can, yes, Amy, um, where can you buy these? So th these I found at Publix. Um, and this was over by the, the meats. And the Tessame's dressings you can buy at Harris Teeter now has them. And Whole Foods, Earth Fair, some of those health food stores definitely have them. And it's not where the dressings are. So you'll have, it's in the cold, usually the produce section. So ask if you, if you can't find them. So this is delicious as well. So then on this chocolate hummus, we will put, I have these in the freezer all the time. So you dairy-free, gluten-free mamas with kids with allergies, you just find those staples that the kids love and you keep them in the freezer. So my girlies don't do dairy, they don't do gluten. So for birthday parties, um, class parties, I will send in a little treat. And usually I send in one of these muffins. They are super yummy. These are the chocolate ones. They have chocolate chip, banana chocolate chip ones. Y'all, they taste like muffins. My husband loves them. They're super yummy. So I will pull one of these out the night before, put it in the refrigerator, or you could probably just put it in their lunchbox in the morning and it will be thawed. And um, I put, I mean, I don't always, but I, um, I told Virginia she can have one of these today. So I'll put um, this, cho this chocolate hummus on it. And y'all, you would not know the difference. It tastes like a cupcake. So I told her I would do that. Jinga Bear, here it is. Oh, it's, it really is so yummy. It's super easy, super easy. Sometimes us mamas, we just need an easy button. So there you go. Here you go. Can you say hi? Hi. you come say hi? She's hi. still on her PJs. She's a little congested today. Okay, okay go enjoy. Okay, so the dairy-free, uh, muffins, those are gluten-free as well. And next we have this amazing, delicious queso. Y'all, it's so good. It tastes like cheese. They have a buffalo flavor. They have, oh, they have another flavor. A spicy one, super, oops, super yummy. And these are, hands down, my favorite chips. They come in a nacho flavor as well. These are grain free. So we are not grain free, but we are gluten free. So people that are grain free, these are so yummy. They're thin, they're crispy, they're salty. They are super yummy. So this is an amazing snack. Tastes like a treat. Okay, so next we have, um, so butter. 
there's lots of different vegan butters out there. I really like this one. It's um, made from plants, which makes me excited. Plants are amazing for the body. Um, and it's made with cashew butter and coconut. I think that's what it is, yes. Coconut oil and cashews. And it, it has a great flavor. Now you have to like coconut, the flavor of coconut. And um, yeah, it just has a really creamy flavor. So it's a great substitute. I got this at, oh, where did I get? Uh, Trader Joe's. And I think like Whole Foods, Earth Fair, I think they have it as well. The queso I got at Publix. The other stores do not have it. And it was in the where the tofu is. So definitely ask for it. And it's Good Foods brand. And next I have my very favorite kale chips. Y'all, Cool Ranch. These are delicious. Hands down, my very favorite. You know, we do make kale chips. I'll put some everything but the bagel seasoning on it or nutritional yeast. And they're yummy, but they're nothing like these. I go through these a bag <laughs> at least a week. And you can get them at Walmart super yummy. You can get them at all the stores. They're usually in the gluten-free section, but they are super yummy. And most things that say ranch, um, nachos, I mean, that all has dairy. And y'all, did you know candy cane TikToks have dairy? I mean, it's crazy. Milk is in everything. So these are delicious. Um, my next one Okay, so this is, I'm just sharing this. This is an excuse to share one of my very favorite things that we use all the time. It is dairy-free. Um, it's this Garlic Expressions dressing. It is very clean, and we use it on everything. My girls love it. It's my very favorite salad dressing. You can use it as a marinade. My girls would just open up a can of beans, put it on a can of beans. I mean, we'll make a cucumber, tomato, olive, salad, uh, like salad or appetizer, it's delicious. And this you find in the produce section. You can you can find this um, as well, it, honestly, at all the grocery stores. And next we have this yummy, oh my gosh, I have chocolate all over me, um, avocado ice cream. It's so yummy, I got it at Target. And, oh, the case, Darlene, you buy the queso at Publix. So I don't know if you have a Publix, maybe Kroger, but definitely just screenshot this video or I can post them below. Maybe I'll post the pictures below. Um, so this is avocado chocolate ice cream and it's super, super yummy. So I found this at Target. I haven't found it any other place, but I was excited about it. I had, I think only 12 grams of sugar, 12 grams of sugar for ice cream. So ice cream, but y'all, we make ice cream. And this is my last, number 12. It's my very favorite staple um, in my house. We use it all the time. We use it to make ice cream with just a frozen banana. Um, it is super yummy. I'm so grateful for it. It's all plants. It's actually, it adds variety of 15 plants to whatever we're doing. So we use it to make muffins. We use it to make those little protein balls. We actually, it is our shake mix in the morning. We, this morning I put it in, just made a big pot of gluten-free oatmeal and used it to sweeten the oatmeal. But not only sweeten it, we added 15 plants to my girl's meal, which is crazy amazing. And um, it's so yummy. I mean, at the end of the day, it is healthy. It adds variety to my girl's diet. It adds fiber. It's nine, not eight or nine grams of fiber. Um, uh, eight grams of fiber, 13 grams of protein. We have, we, my girls, my whole family will consume either a shake or something using this plant-based shake mix every single day. It is my husband, since he started having, here it is, it's the complete shake mix. And since he started having a shake in the mornings, his blood sugar levels have not been all over the place. And I'm really excited. So MD Anderson is feeding the complete shakes to their ovarian cancer survivors. So I'm, I'm really excited that my girls are consuming, you know, healthy, your water washed soy, um, you know, the research out there is now saying that, you know, soy really is 
beneficial. So I'm super excited that my girlies from a young age are getting, you know, a serving of this delicious, healthy soy every single day. So it is super yummy. It adds, like I said, 13 grams of protein, uh, eight grams of fiber, and it's low glycemic, which is amazing. And it's the variety of 15 plants. So that is my number one dairy-free um, food that we have in our house substitute. It really is super yummy and we use it really for everything. So there y'all have it. These are my very favorite and y'all sorry I didn't answer all your questions. Um, but I will when I jump off. So these are some of our very favorite dairy free um, staples in our house. And if you have any questions about them, you know, please reach out. Um, if y'all would want a sample of anything, most of these things, the shake mix, I can send you a sample. Um, and most of these things you can get at the grocery store, Publix, Harris Teeter, Whole Foods, Walmart even. Walmart has these dairy-free chocolate chips now. It's pretty amazing. Okay, y'all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and flood your body with plants. And if you are considering going dairy-free, I would love to help you through that. Um, or if your New Year's resolution is to get healthy, I'd love to help you on that journey. Okay, y'all have a great day.